what's up everybody good morning we are here on the man collect starting another week of toy hunting let's head in here to the bristol virginia walmart and let's see what finds are here to be found today here we go we're approaching the aisle we've got heart blaring in the loudspeakers so let's see what we got here on the shelf uh, we still got our excellent complement of Godzilla vs. Kong stuff. We've got some Transformers. Uh, they got a ratchet back here. Yep, there's ratchet. There's nothing else, though. This guy's always beating up when I find him. Junk heap. I guess maybe he made, did it make his box like that to go with the name of the Transformer? Because I haven't seen, at least I don't remember seeing one of those with a good box. There's your big three. That's the last three things right there. I'll probably get of the Kong and Godzilla toy. I at least want that big Kong right there. That thing's cool. And we got our Meat and Mayhems. Another stack up there coming down. I've moved some of the Nintendo figures over here, even though I don't think that's the actual tag and price for them. They should be over here somewhere. We'll take a look at that stuff in a second. Ooh, that's Ecamic. What do they have here, though? They got Link, Donkey, and Diddy Kong. Okay. Got our two packs. These actually look pretty cool. Somebody else made a comment the two packs looking decent. And I have to agree, they don't look that bad. Uh, they got our Fugglers, Leo and Donnie. I'll take pictures of them because I like putting them on the thumbnails. Uh, oh man, they got something like a restock of these spider man Hey, it still works. That's cool. What have we got here? Movie Turtles, Pizza Toss and Mike. And oh, it looks like a raft back there. Nothing else different or sexy and exciting in the world of our retro turtles. X Men '97 that is back to twenty-two dollars. That used to be down to nineteen for a little while. Kind of like the Pizza Fire van being twenty-eight bucks at the other Walmart. That must have been a limited time engagement. There are mech strikes. Those are on clearance at the other Walmart here in Bristol for 15 bucks. if you're looking for these things. I haven't scanned them here, so I don't know if they're on sale here. Mark II, Thor, Infinity Saga, Captain America Stealth Suit. I like that figure. Uh, we got the same card of figures that was here last week. We still see how much dust is on Vulcan here. Uh, well, well, yeah, it's got a pretty good amount. There's Siren Steel, the Bone Breaker Wave, and Darwin. Now, Big Bad Toy Store, it may not be on sale now. They had that wave, the Bone Breaker Wave, I think for like 68 bucks on sale if you missed the Bone Breaker Wave at all these discount stores. Oh, what do we got in these? I didn't even look. Crossfire, Kang, Future Ant Man, Kang, Future Ant Man, and then Ant Man. Or, yeah, Ant Man. Yeah, there he is. There's his crotch, anyways, in his leg. Oh, uh, what else we got? Oh, we got a Wolverine mask and a sword here. <laughs> Does that do something that's got to put... Oh, it lights up. Well, that's kind of neat. I never noticed those things had any kind of function to them before. That's probably, I think that's the Adventure Force, they call it, the Walmart brand of toys. We bought that before for some kids for some birthdays and stuff. Those aren't bad for the price of them. Oh, uh, we got some dinos. There's a rollback down there on the Charlize Theronosaurus. The plushy dinosaurs staring us down this morning. I think he's hunting us. Uh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's like, hello. Reminds me of those little things you go to like the aquarium and they poke those little worms and poke their heads up out of the sand to look at you. I can't remember what they're called. Madison would know. She's an expert on all things aquatic. Um, let's see, we got anything we got laying down here? Nightwing, they still got the skull ship. They do. Oh, here we go. I had a small clip of this in my weekend hunt video because I had two of these down. Now, when I scanned this the other day, just to see if it was still 1997, I mean, it came up, it was not found. I'm not available to purchase us. I don't know if that actually scanned, if you tried to buy it or not, but they still have Brainiac ship here. Got two of them, actually. No new figures, though. Oh, crap. Oh, it's the nightfall. That was Nightwing fall. <laughs> oh, we got back there. Jim Gordon is Batman. Dark Knights of Steel. And we got a gray and black hush. 
Oh, uh, we got some of the gold labels down here. Let's let's move this shopping cart. Let's just roll it out here. And what's this park in there? That looks like a good thing to do, doesn't it? Uh, let's see what we got down here. Oh. Uh, older build a figure waves. There's Owlman. They have a Robin left. Nope, just Owlman. But they do have one of the new exclusive gold labels. If you're looking for them. Star Wars plushies up there. Same three hanging there on Mission Fleet. This is not Mission Fleet. I always call that Mission Fleet. That's not Mission Fleet. It's Micro Galaxy Squadron. Well, we got some of these blind boxes. Yeah, what all they got here? Hmm. Does that tell you which one's in it? Oh, yeah, well, I guess it's on the front of the box. So that's kind of cool. Unless you know what you're getting. Oh, we got some Power Rangers stacked up there. Some other micro gallon. Those things are stacked up there. I see a rock looking at me. Rick Rude, Macho Man, another rock. I like to find the newest wave of the superstars. One with the two Hulks and Andre and Doink. I would definitely buy Andre. Maybe Doink. Those are all Ezra's. These are all those. Um, bunch of Chrysanthemums still. Bunch of Moss Man. He's actually starting to hit clearance at some Walmarts. I don't think he... he I haven't seen the clearance any of mine, but I've seen some other hunters find him. <laughs> hey, look there. Diamond Dallas Page. I guess that's the Positively Page version of him. I haven't seen this wave in stores in a while. <laughs> that's not a bad face sculpt DDP. Oh, they got Harley Race, too. There's Shawn Michaels from that wave. Oh, you gotta love King Harley. Legendary tough guys in wrestling. A couple of those Undertakers. I've seen that before. I think I've seen that mostly at Target stores. I'm thinking, or if that's Walmart exclusive, please overlook me. I don't follow wrestling close enough to know what's exclusive to what store. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna take some pictures of King Harley and stuff. I think Harley Race deserves to be on a thumbnail. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he... He's long past, of course, but I'm sure that's what he aspired for in his career. Thinking someday the man collects. is going to put me on one of his thumbnails. Bobby Lashley. They have Kurt Angle laying down here. There's Bianca Belair. No Kurt. Oh, what do we got in our video game stuff? Anything different? Let's take a look at these little Nintendo figures. Koopa, 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 Mario, Mario, Mario. <laughs> really like that little Kamek figure. Still have to find me a Luigi. I may have to get on Amazon or something see if I can find a Luigi. Poppy Playtime Among Us. Oh, I did pick these up. I started to open them last night and mess around with them some, but I think I might do a short for YouTube. So I want to unbox them on that. Rainbow Friends and Poppy Pets. I don't know what Pet Simulator is. It's Minecraft. I played my. I have played Minecraft before. What's that right there? That's kind of cool looking. Oh, we did find some awesome Hot Wheel finds over the weekend. Found that DeLorean and we found that um, Batmobile from Batman and Robin. But that's enough rambling. We're going to get off here now. We're going to take some pictures for our thumbnail and then we're going to check out Diecast and Collectors. If there is anything there. The man Kalea is going to show it to you. If there's not, then I'll see you at the next store. United. I don't know the words. Can you hear that song playing? I don't know if you can hear it or not. And I'll probably get a copyright if you can. But that's going to be stuck in my head. I know I say that a lot on here. But I do get songs stuck in my head a lot. Enjoy these cars right here, guys. That Chevelle. Oh, some of these I've gotten. I bought so many of them now. It's hard to keep track of what I got. I do like that old Ford there as well. I know I got that Hemi Charger, and I think I got that Chevelle. But anyways, what we got here this morning? Anything look different? We've got some of these just, these just trucks don't look bad either. Oh, look at that. 72 Chevrolet Cheyenne. Oh man, I like to have that. Uh, nothing new there. They don't have the Wayne's World one, do they? I know a local collector who was looking for that thing. 
after he saw me pick it up. I've never seen another one of those. I've seen that one that I got, and I haven't seen another one since. Nothing new on these little boogers. Oh, they got these NASCAR. There's the Richard Petty. That's actually the best card I've seen on that yet. I heard that. I think this is a chase car. Well, I could get it on camera out of that wave. They don't have any of the other older drivers. Martin Truex. I remember that name. Eliminator. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Any blue tops? No. Do we have a Dark Knight Returns bat tank? Uh, no. <sighs> oh, okay, no. That Tumbra does look awesome. Another Batman Batmobile. Some of the Porsche cars. Number two and number four. Oh, what we got there? That Kindle motor one we see all the time. There's the Thundercat battle tank. That I keep passing on. I think that I have it, but I'm not sure, and I hope that I do. If I don't, I'm going to be upset. I'm not upset, but I'll have collector's regret and be sad and pouty. But then I'll get over it because it's only a Hot Wheel. Oh, they got an AT-AT -AT up here. Cool. Oh, they got a bunch of these. Oh, crap. Oh, I wrecked. Oh, I killed the bat cycle. Didn't ding it up. We're in good shape. Here, we'll just put you on the peg. You deserve to be sold after that ride. What else I got up there? That's light year stuff. Let's make sure none of these are blue tops. What's this one? That's cool. We'll see that one at Target. And then we've got, oh, Millennium Falcon. I mean, as you can tell, that's actually die cast. That is heavy. That's one thing disappointing with these. I opened up like the, the 89 Batwing and it's plastic. Come on, it's Hot Wheels. It shouldn't be plastic. Now, this one I've come close to buying some several times. The AT-AT, the ad That thing just looks awesome. But again, I'm not a Star Wars collector. I hate to get stuff like that. I'm afraid that an actual Star Wars collector will come. And then I'll get it and they won't get to enjoy it. Weird mentality, maybe. But it's how I think about things. Any 33s? No Series 33. Oh, come on, I gotta get my grease trap one of these days. What else we got up through here? Matchbox. That's pretty cool looking. Is that a Land Rover? Yep. I used to want a Land Rover bad when I was younger. Not so much anymore. A little too expensive. Um, let's see. Oh, these guys still working? <laughs> well, I don't have the other one. Okay, guys, I think that's going to do it for our toy. Oh, they have some stuff out here. I did scan some of that. The little artsy fartsy um, transformer things. They're on clearance, but nothing else was. But we are going to head back to collectors now and see if we might can find that culture fly stuff we've been looking for and anything else they might have. But if there is something back there, I'll let you see it. If there's not, then I want to see you at the next one. Collectibles. What have we got? And I can say I've already spotted something that did restock here. That we're gonna look at in a second but we'll start with this section first i haven't seen the culture fly stuff <clears throat> excuse me i've been looking for it i don't see any any, any end caps and the back side of the collector section here they still have the, the paramount plus stuff that are on gun clearance so we'll keep looking for that there is shredder and hell shredder some gundam what have they got behind that same one yep same one well there's a bunch of no that's not gundam never mind is it no, huh, sorry. Don't know this stuff, guys. I quit looking at it. Uh, Men in Black International. The Huntress beating up there. A lot of that still is like a six bucks. Some on sale. But what they did stock, look here. They got the Turtle 3 two packs. Turtles 3 two packs. Get that right. What do we got here, guys? We've got Mikey and Leo. Another Mikey and Leo. Another Mikey and Leo. Another Mikey and Leo. Yeah, they got four Mikey and Leos. <laughs> oh, so that is pretty cool to see. I don't think I've seen the, any of those here before that I can remember. So it's cool to see some of them. Uh, there's my tumbler I laid down. I'm going to get this because, look, it's separating from the card. I like to have one of these off cards, so, yeah, we're getting it. Um, so we'll have at least one pickup this week. I don't see anything else, guys, really worth writing home about here. Nothing different. Just want to take a peek, and we're going to walk down the rest of this section. I've looked around a lot of it for the that new, you know, Nook stuff, and um, I can't remember what they're called. No, Culture Fly makes it, 
we're gonna see if we can find it anywhere else here before we leave but if i do find it i'll show it to you and if i don't then i'll see you at the next store all right true believers we are back here at ross in bristol virginia we're gonna run in here and see what they got for us for this hunt video well i don't really know what these things are but they're different at least to this ross um i'm assuming they're anime but yeah i can't read that bandai spirits so there you go some plushies um, 8.99 for the big guy that one is 6.49 now this is kind of cool this hot wheels legends thing we're actually gonna snap a photo with that yeah that's pretty cool i the gto and the whole camino there it's pretty sweet what else we got here we got some more hot wheels stuff here i don't know if they had these last week or not there's some different ones of those Still got Gundam. <sighs> no new exciting stuff that nobody wanted to pay full price for. <laughs> what do we got over here? Still got one of those He-Man figures left. There's only $3. We already checked up front. The only thing they had up there was Siren and the usual suspects. But, yep. But one thing does look promising. We'll show you one thing up here that they've been doing. And it doesn't have a lot. Maybe it's just they stuck some stuff up here. There's no place to put it. I don't know. But check this out. I'm putting out some middle sections. And they do have some toy-like items sitting on it. I mean, a princess ball hopper. Hmm. But yeah, maybe this is a sign that I'm getting some more stuff in. I don't know. But for this, Ross, this is all they got. Man Collects signing out. And here we are, my friends. We are approaching Target in Bristol, Virginia. One of our usual hunt destinations throughout the week. So let's run up here. Let's see what they got for us today. All right. Let's see what we got. I'll start off with all right again. But oh, well, let's have it. The sale prices are off. And kind of weird, they stock this after it goes off sale. <laughs> Uh, Hulk Hogan, Sheik, Hogan, Sheik, Andre. So we don't have a Chase Andre or a Jimmy Hart, but almost a whole wave here. AEW, same old stuff. That's probably that's the newest one they got. Yep, Series 6. So we got some Warriors. Got the ring. Uh, some bigger Micro Galaxy here. The Grand Army of the Republic Battle Pack. It is kind of cool. Got two of those. Oh, uh, what else we got? got? Some more. The bigger. This is on clearance at Walmart right now. If you can find it, I've seen it as low as nine dollars. I think seventeen is the closest I've seen it in my area. There's another one of those, a green one instead of the red one. Still got chrysanthemums. These things which aren't selling. Those Landos. All oh, those are Landos. So not a whole lot to write home about. Or the pre <laughs> Previsa and then that um, General Sandella up there. Looked to be the newest black series that they've got. Still got a pretty good assortment of Mutant Mayhem stuff. Got Merman and Merman and Masterverse. V Wing Starfighter, Poe Dameron's non chase X Wing, another V Wing Starfighter. Oh, look here, they do have something a little bit different. It's only the second time I've seen one of these in a Target. I saw the turtles at Grayskull and this one at the um, Johnson City Target before, but first time seeing them here, so that's pretty cool. We'll get a picture of him, you know, for thumbnail fodder. Rocksteady's still hanging out here. <laughs> and got Genghis and Baxter. And we got some storage shells and more Genghises up there. Yeah, well, they must have a restock on Kong. They got the Scar King there, but it's all they've got a Godzilla versus Kong. Or Godzilla and Kong. They're not fighting anymore, are they? Uh, da, 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 da. Well, don't see anything else too exciting through here. So, we're going to go check out the regular action figure aisle once we can get done it. And we're going to check out some die cast and collectors. If we see anything, we'll show it to you. If not, then I'll see you the next one. And the die cast aisle looks a little peaked here at the beginning which they've got some stock stuff out now so they might be getting ready to stock fast and the furious got the same star wars stuff there that they've had uh, let's see a bunch of mario Kart. still got some of the overpriced 143 scale hot wheels 
Not much going on in monster trucks, man. I'll clear them out. I got any 33s? Got that thing still. 32, 32, 32, 33, the zombie truck. Alrighty. Chase Elliott. They got a lot of the NASCAR stuff as well. Theirs looks like more Earnhardt Jr. Does he still race? I didn't think he did. I, I don't know. He might. No clue. Got a couple of versions of Optimus down there. That was pretty cool. The old school and then the new movie version. That Hulk. The, the Hulk figure in this is what makes that thing awesome. But I'm not going to pay $20 just for a little Hulk metal figure. Now the Tumblr there and then the Batman Batmobile behind that. Those I'm tempted to buy. But I don't have space for any more die cast right now. So Unfortunately. <laughs> Here we go. Station wagon. Awesome. Well, looks like that's going to do it for diecast. Now we're going to check out the action figures. And they do have some stock cards out. So we'll try to see what's on those. But if I do see anything else, I'll let you see it. But if not, then I'm checking out of here. I wasn't going to film this section because I don't have much down through here. But I thought, ah, might as well just show. It's because there's something I'm not looking for. Maybe something somebody else is. They do have Mutt and Junkyard. Still got an anti-monitor. Um, looks like I got another one of the Superman 2 packs in. Let's see. What we got? Multiverse looks exactly the same. Aquaman, Batwing, Manta. They got some of those. Well, they had those over in Collectors. I assume there's still some over there. There was like three on Friday. And then one of him still hanging there. Here we've got Egon, 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 and two Bankman. So Bankman was the only one that John City Target didn't have. So between those stores, you could piece together the whole wave. Um, Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Joker, that's stroke. No new Joes. Who we got in this stuff? That's the old ones. Iron Man and Thor. Iron Man, Sam Wilson, Black Panther. They got Thor's Thor. What else we got? Black Panther mask, the X Men set. <laughs> Let's see, still got Spidey. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Venom, I got the black suit. There he is, symbiote suit. That's about the only last one of these I want. Venom. Doc Ock and Spidey. Okay, I'm assuming that's straight where you're going after. Alright, we're gonna to have to switch to the other side. We got some people on the lower end, then we'll grab that. Koopa Troopas and a Flying Troopa, Sonic Prime. This stuff looks pretty full. I don't know if it's recently stocked or not. I wish they had that right there with the Luigi in there. I gotta find a Luigi. There's one in that scale. I like to have one in that scale, or, you know, that scale. I don't know what else they got. Um, one of the Ross stores had that. It wasn't Bowser's ship, it was the castle. No, they had Bowser's ship, I think. But he and I didn't pick it up. Uh, what we got down through here? Oh, I forgot to look at something. I do think these are newer in the Transformers. Tasmania Kid, Megatron, those. So, Alright, let's finish the video game. Then we'll get the rest of the toys there. The action figures we didn't get a second ago. There's the Lanky Box Cyborg Mini Mystery Plushie. And then our Pokemon. We got some cards, a few figures. Pops, plushies, a Pokemon. However, back you gone here. Still got that end cap full of that Jurassic Park stuff. There's Mark II, Iron Man. What else we got here? Mark II, Cap, Cap, and Cap. Mary Jane still. Or not Mary Jane, I'm sorry. Michelle Jones, MJ. My bad. They don't have any of the Ghostbuster blind boxes today. Still hoping to grab it on a clearance one day. It's a gambit. I like to have that figure, but forty-four ninety-nine. Uh, I did return those individual boxes ahead of those, maybe because I've already got Storm from the Blackbird set. Just need gambit. No. All right, we are going to take a gander down Lego and see what they got. Oh, there's Donkey Kong. <laughs> see what they got down the Lego aisle, and then so we can peek at some of these stock boxes. There's anything we're trying to pilfer through. Once again, you know the drill. I've already said it like five times in this hunt. If I do see anything, I'll let you see it. If not, we'll see you later. The old faithful collectible section.
Let's see what they got. Not found a whole lot here this morning, guys. Hopefully this will be a redemption. There's a 2D comic. Superman, Ghostface, Sam, Guliana, Bob Ross. Last run unarmored. There's a Steel Clan robot. This is an awesome, awesome figure. That thing looks great. Gotta say. I like this Halloween as well. Cool Michael Myers. There's a Superman back there without the card on the back of him. Casey Jones mask. All kinds of plushies. There's a Brillo pad. That's cool. Deadpool. Sonic, like all nuked. I can't remember that. Nuclear Sonic or whatever they call him. That dude from Ninja Turtles. Oh, they got another one of these. How many Hulk Hogan pops are going to come out? <laughs> Sports Illustrated. I guess commemorating that. I'll probably get a picture of that though because it is something new. They got the spider punk thing there. Still all of these regular price. Don't see any pulps that look different that are standing out. Mm -hmm. Godzilla blind boxes are kind of tempting. Got several of those little sets there with Raphael with the red motorcycle, but those are actually um 20 bucks at Walmart right now. What are the odds that this is going to be a chase? <gasps> it's not. <laughs> There's a disruptor. Oh, they got the platinum disruptor. Okay, so I have officially seen it twice now because I got one at Johnson City and one here. And then you got a Reaper, a Reaper, the Platinum. Then you got some Superman. You got three Batman. They finally sold the Platinum the Scarecrow they had here. That thing sat here for a while. Still got two Hawkman collector's editions left. But as you can see, no Wonder Woman. Huh. Like I said, we got the original thanks to a trade with Nerd HQ. By the way, visit Nerd HQ for an awesome collectible store in Johnson City, Tennessee. Uh, but still, I'd find the platinum if I can. Let's see what we got down through here. Nothing new there. You just put some clearance right there in that end cab where that cricket thing is. But I do see some clearance tags over here. Looks like mostly pops though. And this stuff hasn't really changed. As Donkey Kong says, I got how much are these big pops on clearance for? Thirty-one forty-nine for the Pokemon. Same price for the Black Light Spider-Man looking psychedelic thing. Uh, your Demon Slayer is marked down to eight thirty nine. Twenty ninety nine for that. Twenty seven ninety nine for that Captain Marvel three pack thing. I don't think Donkey Kong's little village is on clearance yet, but they still got some several of them down here. There's some more Pokemon hiding out over here. Now these big Luigi's go on a good clearance. I'd be tempted to buy Luigi, especially Charlie Day. He did his voice. Big fan of Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, I still got plenty of that. I don't see. Well, I got a few more things down here. Uh, mostly just pops that are on clearance. Here you got twenty dollars for that uh, that Hulk Hogan. They got the Andre. Yep, there's Andre. These are down to twenty ninety nine. All kinds of Andre and Hogan there, and then some ones down there. The Spider Man No Way Home one is twenty ninety nine. So yeah, we got some clearance stuff over here. Just. Not anything tickling the fancy of the man collects. But anywho, I think that's going to do it for Target. I'm going to try to get over there and glance at those stock boxes without getting in those ladies' way. If I do find anything, I'll turn the camera back on and let you see it. If not, then we'll see you someplace else. Plushies. Let's check out Burlington here in Bristol. You can't see it, but I just about tripped over that little curb right there. But anyways, let's head into Burlington, try to stay upright, and see what they got. Let's see if we got some discounted toys here at Burlington. What are you laughing at? Okay. Kind of creepy. Anyways. <laughs> I don't know, it is but a little baby doll laugh. That is kind of creepy. Imagine being in a solid black room all of a sudden you start hearing that. Ugh, you never know what's coming from. It's gonna get you. That's some more of the Pokemon Mega. That's Mega Constructs. I don't know if that's was it coming before. Is that Mega Blocks before their Mega Blocks? I don't remember. Anyways, the music is stupid loud in here, so I'm gonna have to ramble the whole time to keep that drowned it out, so I don't get a copyright strike. There is the American Nightmare. AEW still got one of those left. I think these are five bucks. Yep, four ninety nine. Yeah, these are new. I got a bunch of Minecraft stuff. I got the 
party shades, whatever that is. You can see the ones they got here. And mostly they got this one. And that one has a different one. You got fairy wings. Is that what it's a character's called? And you got fire mohawk. That's wrist spikes. Oh, I would have called it fire mohawk. It's cool dinosaur. <laughs> oh, we still got some other mega blocks. Still got these two right here hanging out. The patron hostess of all discount toy hunting through the Christmas season and continuing into 2024. Siren. We got Darwin there. You got three discounts. That'd be a good picture for a thumbnail, wouldn't it? <laughs> you get that big thing from Minecraft. Another big thing from Minecraft. You can see those down in there. Yeah, you got some of those big figs. Anything over here? Yeah, a little bowling set there. There's something to do at work when I get bored. What else we got here, guys? Oh, I thought that was McDonald's. I'm surprised McDonald's is doing branded toys like that. Some walkie talkies. Ooh, more walkie talkies. Dinosaurs. Still got a Regaloceratops, a Raptor, that thing. Big head Dilophosaur. What's he do? He falls off the shelf when you push on it too hard. That's what he does. All right, let's move on. Uh, there. That's somebody's, never mind. You got the T-Rex plushie here. This kind of looks like grass. Oh, uh, they're soft. Uh, what else we got down here, guys? Let's start slim pickings today for the old Burlington. There's another one with Minecraft things. Some Sonic. Another dinosaur there. And another Regaloceratops. Does he do something? Whoa, cool. Whoa. Sound like he laughed at me. I got baby dolls laughing at me, dinosaurs laughing at me. It's a rough day for the man collects, but that is going to do it for Burlington. If I happen to see anything on a stock cart or anything going out of here, I'll let you see it. If not, though, we're going to see you at the next. Hey everyone, my name is Chris, you're watching The Man Collects, and this is the wrap-up to our Wednesday Toy Hunting YouTube adventure. As I always do, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching the video here on YouTube, and if you did enjoy the content, be sure to click that like button. Now, before we talk about Store the Hunt, Top 3s, and the Toy Hunt... Let's talk about the Man Collects YouTube channel. There's going to be some changes coming to the channel. Now, nothing's really happened to prompt me to want to change it, but I've been doing the same format now for over a year, seems like, and I, it's time to change it up a little bit. You know, I don't want to keep just have this be the same thing over and over again. So what we're going to do, I'm still going to do three videos a week. The Monday video will still be a toy hunt. It'll still be at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time and it'll show my uh, toy hunt from the previous weekend. Still going to do a Friday toy hunt video. Again, it'll be at 12 noon Eastern Time and it's going to chronicle my toy hunting for Monday through Thursday. The Wednesday video, we're going to try to make that something different. Now, what is that going to be? It may be multiple things. Um, I am going to do a collection room tour here pretty soon. I've got two more shelves to hang up on this back wall back here, and I can get all this crap out of the floor where I can actually walk around and record a hunt video without tripping over stuff every two seconds. So it'll be something like that. Um, I love going to these vintage shops. I got away from that for the last little while. I'm getting back into that. When I do go to like Nerd HQ or Hoth Toy or Welcome Back Collectibles or some more that I might find, I may put that footage on a Wednesday video. Um, toy talking, if I ever do a live stream or something like that, I may throw that on a Wednesday video. Just some different style content other than just doing strict toy hunts all the time. Now, if I try it and it sucks and nobody watches it and it gets a thousand thumbs down and people are throwing tomatoes at me on the street because of it, we'll call an audible and we'll change something back up. But again, we do have some changes coming to the Man Collects. I don't know when I'm going to start that. I may wait till the end of the month, uh, which is almost the end of February, but it's not going to be like next week. I'll announce on Instagram. I'll announce here on the channel, you know, when I am going to change that Wednesday video, but that is coming. Now, with all that long-winded stuff said, for those of you who watch the channel, drop something in the comments you might like to see. Uh, if you want, if you want to see me do talk about toy news, if you, I know people have been asking for a, co a collection room tour for quite a while, and I'm gonna try to make that the first one if I can. Hopefully, this weekend I get them shelves hung. 
But anyways, for Oracle, that is coming. But anything anything else you want to see or hear from the man collects, leave it in the comments. Send me a message on Instagram. For those of you out there who know me personally, shoot me a text, whatever, just let me know. But again, there are some changes going to be coming to the YouTube channel. But for now, we do have a toy hunt video that you're watching on this Wednesday, so let's wrap it up. So what took the title for this video, everybody? What was... Store of the Hunt. Store of the Hunt for this video goes to one of my favorite stores to hunt. It's usually where I start the hunt week, and it is the Walmart in Bristol, Virginia. Because the conglomeration of stuff they had made it the coolest store, in my opinion, I've been in in this video. Uh, but what made it Store of the Hunt? The Superpowers Brainiac Skull Ship. They still got that. Guys, anytime I see anything new with superpowers, it gives me that when I don't want to call false hope and sound negative, but the hope that, you know, we're, they're going to get the new figures. So they do have the skull ship. They actually, my area got that pretty quick. Most of the time, my area is kind of lags behind by almost sometimes a month, some of these other places getting it. So it was cool to see that there. They still have two of them there in the Bristol, Virginia Walmart. Another thing that was really cool, a wave of wrestling figures. I didn't see that much when they were out, uh, when they were brand new, but you had Diamond Dallas Page. And I, I started to buy DDP. I didn't buy him to spoil the haul portion, but him and Harley Race, that was pretty cool to see those. And Shawn Michaels, you had that Undertaker when he was tag chance with the big show, that figure there, that was pretty cool to see. But again, that was neat. Um, you had a restock. I have not seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Part 3 Turtles in a while. They had the Leo and the uh, Mikey 2 pack there. I still see Kino and the Fat Foot Soldier. I still see the two-pack of the Foot Soldiers in some stores, but haven't seen the Turtles in a while. So those things all combined kind of made my decision for Walmart, Bristol, Virginia, to be Store of the Hunt. And they narrowly beat out Target just by, like, that much. <laughs> all right, we got our Store of the Hunt. Now let's talk about the top three. What were the man's top three coolest things he saw on this toy hunt? Let's start with number three, and it's more than one figure. So in typical Man Collects fashion, we got more than three things into the top three. But we just talked about some wrestling figures, and mostly, notably, Diamond Dallas Page, DDP, and King Harley Race. Those figures look really cool. I'm, I'm starting to get drawn a little bit towards uh, wrestling figures, trying not to go down that rabbit hole, because when you see the toy haul, you're going to see another rabbit hole I just jumped down, and it's not a cheap one. But anyways, it was cool to see those. The likeness on those I thought looked really good, especially the Dallas Page. He, he looked like Diamond Dallas Page. Um, Harley Race, he, he looked good as well. I prefer the regular Harley instead of the King Harley thing, but still it's pretty cool to see that there, those two wrestling figures. I didn't see those figures especially very much. The Undertaker with the tag belt, I saw him a lot and Shawn Michaels, but you know, I didn't see DDP and King Harley all that much, so they are number three for this hunt video. Now, number two. What took the number two spot for this video? I'm going to give that to a figure that is, it's not a wave of McFarlane that I collect, but it is a figure that seems not show up all that much in the toy hunting community, at least, at least what I watch. And that is the Platinum Disruptor from the Spawn figures. We saw that at the Johnson City Target over the weekend and last week, and we saw it in the Bristol Target there. It was Monday when I was hunting in there. They had it as well. Um, it's not a figure that I really want. I am drawn to get it just because it's a chase figure. It's a platinum, but uh, it does look better than the, the plain color one. And then again, I didn't see that show up a lot in the YouTube hunters that I watch. Again, Collecting Havoc found the thing, and then I saw it there. Um, I haven't seen anybody else find it. I'm sure several people have, but again, I didn't see that show up much. I had never seen the thing at all until here in the last past week. I've seen it twice, but um, once again, the Platinum Disruptor, that takes the number two spot, just for being something I haven't seen all that much. And now, number one. What's number one for this hunt video? That's going to go to Mousejaw, the Turtles of Grayskull. The Turtles of Grayskull line, I was kind of skeptical about that when I first saw them announced. I'm like, really? Uh, He-Man and Ninja Turtles? I mean, come on. But I, honestly, the figures look good. I've only seen the Turtles one time in store, the first wave. They looked really cool, and Mousejaw looks good. And I got to say, $24.99. I, I kind of figured they'd be more expensive than that. But it's because of the two properties involved. So kudos to whoever makes those figures for keeping them... I don't want to say affordable because 25 bucks is still a lot of money, but still, I mean, you would think that'd probably be 30 to $35 compared to some of the Masterverse figures, but Mouse Jaw does look cool. It does have a Build-A-Figure, so you're going to have more of those coming, the deluxe figures there, the Build-A-Figure piece, but Mouse Jaw does take number one for this video just because it looks cool, and I've only seen that, I think, one other time, so it's cool to see that in stores again. 
So there we go, guys. We've got a channel update announced. We've got Store of the Hunt. We got a top three. Now let's get into the toy haul. I gotta say, guys, this is another video. I didn't buy anything in any of the stores. No, wait, no, 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 no. I take that back. I did buy that Tumblr Batmobile you saw me uh, carrying there in the Bristol, Virginia Walmart. But I opened it up and I set it on the windowsill in my office at work and I forgot to get it out. So it's still at the office, but I did buy that Batmobile. Now, I do have something to show for the haul, though. An online uh, order came in today, guys. This is a new rabbit. I've been fighting the urge to buy these figures from this comp from this brand in a for, for a while. I finally gave in because Big Bad Toy Store had an awesome sale on two of these. So let's go ahead and show them. We'll show the one first that was not on sale. And we got the Mapex number, I think, 105. Yep, 105, the Hush Batman. Now, I don't know what the plastic, how good I'm going to be able to show that where you actually be able to see it. But this thing looks awesome. You got a soft goods cape. You got an alternate head there, unmasked. Plus, you got a scowl face and then a stern batman face and just some awesome accessories this thing looks great um, i don't know guys if i'm going to be able to open these or not i'm mostly an inbox collector you all know that and these things aren't cheap i don't know if i want to crack it open but oh man i'm so tempted but been fighting the mafex urge for a while and i did give in to it there on big bad toy store so we got batman hush now these other two actually went on sale and they were only they were marked down from like these things like a hundred dollars a piece. They were down to like sixty bucks on the website. Uh, one of them I got, and this is a Reese McFarlane release as well. He did a steel figure, but we got the Mafex steel. And oh man, guys, this thing looks great. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to be able to leave these in the box. I'm going to have to get these out and mess with them. But again, it looks awesome. I'm sorry you can't see it very well with the glare and the reflection there coming off of everything. But there on the back, you can see what it looks like and some of the stuff he comes with. And they're back to full price now. I think this is 105 bucks regular price. They had like a 45, 40, 45% sale on these things on Big Bad Toy Store the other day. So we was able to get one of these before it went off sale. And then my last pickup. This is one I have seen and held in my hand before. One of my friends has got this thing. I, I knew it looked great. I'm glad to finally have this. I'm glad I finally pulled the trigger. But right here, the Cyborg Superman from Mafex. This is number 164. This thing, guys, I mean, this looks awesome. Look at the picture on the back of the box. I may have to get him out and put him in that pose. It looks like he stepped right off the comic book panel and right on the side of this box. I mean, these things look great. Can't wait to get more deeper into the Mafex stuff because I did pre-order some more of these things that will be coming in once they come available. But that's it, guys. That's my haul. We got three Mafex figures. And why not take that back? I did find an extra one of these in the Greenville Walmart today, this little Back to the Future DeLorean that I want to open and put on the shelf. But that is it. So now, let's talk about social media and where to find the man collects. Instagram, go to the description of this video. Go to my about page on YouTube. Look at the splash here in front of you. All three sources will show you ways to find me on Instagram. So check me out on there and give me a follow should you choose to. And then we got it. We got the YouTube channel, The Man Collects. If you are a first time viewer to this content, if you have come back some several times and have yet to hit subscribe, consider hitting subscribe to the channel here and see what comes down the pipe with me here on YouTube. With all that being said, everybody, middle of the week, we're wrapping it up. We're trying to get to the weekend. Hope you are having a great week and I will see you back here Friday.